Shalom, shalom. Welcome to another episode of You Are Not Wife Material. Man, in these episodes, these are simply case studies of how many women there are out there that are desperately desiring a good man, but a man won't come within 10 feet of them with the opportunity of marriage. You know, the Bible talks about those that uh, choose to live a lie, the Most High will send them a strong delusion because they love not the truth. And this is truly something that the older women need to understand and hear. It is your job, it is your assignment as an older woman to impart knowledge and wisdom and educate for righteousness sake the younger women. But this is the painful truth about the women out here that uh, have all these high expectations, uh, you know, for a man and they themselves are of no value. Now, if you are a man and you're watching this, you know, let me know down in the comments without being disrespectful. You know, how many of you are looking for a, uh, a woman or a wife like this? Let me know with a simple, I'm not, I wouldn't marry her or uh, I would marry her. And this is serving as a case study, you know, and this years from now will serve as a case study. And women can see in the comments that if they got that same mindset, they'll understand the importance of repentance. Repentance, turning from, you know, your former ways of ignorance, turning from your former, you know, life that did not bear fruit. And even still, man, a lot of these women are hoping and praying, but simply, they're too far gone. Roll that footage. So we have another clip going viral of a woman being hugged up mighty close to the homie Chris Brown, aka Chris Breezy. And I was actually in the middle of recording different content when I just happened to stumble upon this post. Let me read it to you. This young lady's name is Adrian, and she writes, My Delulu came true true. If you know anything about me, this has been my life dream, meeting my number one artist slash celebrity. Checked off my bucket list. I've been a fan and supporter since middle school. Chris Brown was the absolute nicest and most humble person to meet and actually have a conversation with. We talked about a show show and he actually asked little old me for critiques me and my sister custom made the roses i got to show him my wedding vows my words i put you in my vows not on no creep shit stop the cap him and his aunt laughed during our post he says does your husband approve which he did and we discussed it multiple times before my meet and greet we good i actually got to lock eyes and touch this man on top of this had a wonderful night in the executive suites 10 out of 10 11 11 tour was one of my favorite nights can't wait for the next tour so this woman ladies and gentlemen is a married woman and you would not think so because of the pole she has with him i mean let's look at her they're very intimate he has his hand on her chin they stomach to stomach and he looks like he's about to kiss her which in my opinion is crazy enough in itself one for people being grown-ass groupies and then two for sharing this and third is what she's about to do right now check this out we finally made it to the day the day when i give up all my dreams on chris brown <laughs> Well, 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 we finally made it to the day. The day when I give up all my dreams on Chris Brown. <laughs> and this is crazy, y'all, because how the clip start off is a voiceover. So I'm thinking she's adding the audio to this after the win, you know, just adding this something for social media, you know, something they can keep. So just add, add it on for extra effect on her social media post. But no, she actually said that verbatim at their wedding in front of her husband, in front of his family and her family. I'm gonna play it again. Together. Well, 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 we finally made it to the day. The day when I give up all my dreams on Chris Brown. <laughs> Look, man, it is so much, in my opinion, wrong with this. Now, I'm upset for the dude. First of all, my God, where's your backbone at? The biggest red flags to me is these women want to pay money to go see Chris Brown. And I understand that we all have artists at one point that we're a fan of. I was a huge Bone Thugs and Harmony fan growing up. But I ain't paying $1,000 to see them ninjas. But the fact that your woman wanted to go take a picture with Chris Brown and pay $1,000 while doing so. 